onside kick and didn't oh, player who wanted to have oh. a What's up, YouTube? I'm your host, Flamo. How you guys doing today? So today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be checking out 15 most brutal fouls in football. One of you guys told me to check out worst injuries in football, so this is a little bit similar, but hey, if you want me to check out other injuries in football, let me know in the comment section below. Talking about videos, if you want me to check out any other videos that you guys are like... Bro, I can't even talk right now. You guys get what I'm trying to say. If you have any other videos you want me to check out, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to get to them. But with that being said, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button for me. We are on a road to 7K subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. And with that being said, um, let's dive into this video. Here are the 15 most brutal fouls in the history of football. Here are the 15 most brutal fouls in the history of football. Here are the 15 most brutal fouls in the history Bro, do you realize it? Bro, this dude literally had his whole leg on his chest. Dude, on his chest. That's painful. Oh, heck no, bro. History of football. They haven't cleared it all. How to fix something. We're bad guys. <laughs> oh, that is a booking. Number 15. At number 15, the foul was committed by a player normally known for being a good guy. It was in the final match of the group stage of the 2018 UEFA Champions League. Bayern Munich versus Ajax Amsterdam. Both teams were giving their all, and they each scored a goal. Wait. However, in the 75th minute, chaos erupted on the Ajax bench. Mueller Wait, let me see that replay. Long pass with a high kick and didn't oh, 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 that got me tense, bro. Like, I felt like I just sucked the turd back in my butt, bro. Like, to reach a long pass. Oh, like, you, you guys know what I meant, bro. Come on, I, I ain't trying to say that. No weird stuff. Come on now, bro. But look, it's like, oh, oh, my gosh. Bro, on his head. Do you realize he can get a concussion by that? Let alone, that is cleats. A high oh kick. my. He didn't see the Ajax player who wanted to head the ball. The nah, bro, that's a bad injury. Tagliafico in the forehead with his boot oh studs, my God. causing a laceration. Tagliafico had to receive medical treatment on the field, but luckily was able to continue and finish the match. Wow. Mueller, on the other hand, was shown a red card and had to take an early shower. The foul was quite violent, but unintentional. However, our top three fouls, without a doubt, are brutal. Number 14. In the 1990 World brutal. Cup held in Italy, Cameroon surprised everyone by beating the defending champions, Argentina, 1-0 in the opening match. Okay. But there was a scene from that game that the football world will never forget. Just before the end of the match, there was one last counterattack by Claudio Canigia. During that tackle, even his shoe flew off. Massing was directly sent off, and this foul was considered one of the worst in world. That looked like a tackle in like American world football. Cup history. Indeed, football is pure emotion, and in some cases, tempers flare up quickly. Number 13. Our next foul is committed by a player known mainly for his aggressive defending and unsportsmanlike conduct. In the quarterfinals of the Spanish Copa del Rey, Barcelona with superstar Messi played against their arch rivals, Real Madrid. Messi's run towards the goal, as usual, could only be stopped by a foul. And while Messi was on the ground, Pepe did this. He stepped on his hand. Messi screamed in pain, and Barcelona went mad, rightfully so. Wee. He stepped on his hand. Messi did this. He stepped on his hand. Messi screamed in pain, and Barcelona went mad, rightfully so. The referee didn't see it, and there was no video assistant referee at that time. Oh, yeah, so yeah, Pepe them cleats hurt. Yeah, them Messi, cleats hurt. Messi, on hurts. the other hand, was able to continue playing and scored the winning goal against Real. After Respect. the match, Pepe apologized, claiming it was unintentional. Sorry, Pepe, but it looked anything but accidental. 
Number 12. You know, the for a second, I thought Messi was faking a yellow or red card, although this tackle nearly killed the other player. In 1988, Rangers were playing against Steel Bucharest. The Scottish okay. team was known for their rough style of play, but Grame Sunis went a bit far. Oh, that is a booking. Reckless and dangerous, 40 years ago, the... This dude literally put his foot and was like this. Literally. He literally just kicked him in the crotch. Am I using the right word crotch? I think, I think it is crotch. But dude, between his legs, he kicked him right there. The studs on the boots were made of iron, not plastic. The player who suffered the foul had to undergo surgery, and in the hospital he discovered how serious the situation was. One of his lymph nodes had burst, which could have endangered his life. Fortunately, everything turned out well, and Graham didn't even receive a card for his ugly foul. Number. How do you not receive a card for that foul? That's a brutal foul. Do you know people can lose their lives, get injured really bad in their careers, and they ain't got no flag for that? For 11. Great. But let's stay in it. Great, bro. The Premier League is known to be a bit more physical, and John Terry was known to be one of the toughest defenders. However, this tackle knocked him out cold. It was the final phase of a League Cup match between Chelsea and Arsenal, and the score was tied at 1-1. Chelsea earned a corner, and Terry wanted to show off his heading Chelsea, skills. They haven't cleared it. Oh. Abu Dhabi wanted to kick the ball away from the goal, and Terry attempted a header at the same time. It was not a good combination. Terry swallowed his tongue, stopped breathing for a short period, and had to be treated on the field. Oh my Fortunately, God. he recovered, but had no memory of the incident. At least Didier Drogba scored the winning goal, making Chelsea the winner of the match. Number 10. The Bro, the these are brutal. You, I, you know, these injuries are insane. The two teams. We're back in Spain. This in is the scary, bro. Spanish Super Cup match between Real this Madrid is actually and scary. Remember Pepe? Barcelona was leading 3-2, to two, and it was already the last minutes of extra time when Marcelo had no chance of recovering the ball and brutally lunged at Fabregas from behind. Pure frustration. A straight red card. Ronnie the see that scuffle, replay. Morino pinched the ear of the Barca coach. PK and Ozil pushed each other, Barca and yes, coach. there was a lot of confusion. Pinto, David Villa, Marcelo, and Ozil all received red cards and had to watch the final seconds from outside the field. Damn. Number nine. Axel Wait, so Witzel red card means you're ejected? Is that what it is? In recent years. But when he was making a name for himself in 2009, he was involved in one of the worst fouls and some even called for his ban from professional football. Really? At the time, the young Witzel played for the standard Liege. He was part of Belgium's golden generation and top clubs from around the world had their eyes on him. But then during a match against Anderlecht, this happened. <laughs> Witzel broke the opponent's leg, received a red card, and was suspended oh for eight my matches. No! Witzel broke the opponent's leg. Oh! Look at this angle right here. Oh my God! Witzel broke the opponent's leg, received wow. a red card, this, and was suspended for eight brutal. matches. Yes, this is he brutal continued right to here, claim man. it was all unintentional, but with the next incident, the perpetrator of the foul won't be able to escape. Simply brutal. Number eight. It's the final of the this 2010 FIFA World man. Cup in South Africa. I need to see more of the these Netherlands videos. These are Aaron insane. Robin faced the Spanish Tiki Taka of Iniesta and Xavi. It's the 28th minute and the score is 0-0 when Nigel De Jong turns into a kung fu fighter against Xabi Alonso. It's understandable yeah, that's the that the Spanish one players on his chest. The referee because the Englishman ah. Howard Webb only showed a yellow card. It's hard to believe when you see those images. Fortunately, Alonso could continue playing, and since Robin failed to score, Spain ultimately won the World Cup. But this foul in the Bundesliga didn't have a pleasant aftermath. Number seven. The injured player even sued the other player and the opposing team's coach. In 1981, Biela Field played against Weirder Bremen. Ewald Lienen. Step into Wick Studio. Dribble past Siegmund. The iron studs cut Wait, Lienen's thigh. I didn't see that. Hold I can't on, I didn't show see you that the leg again. photos. Otherwise, Let's YouTube see. would block the video. The player recovered from the injury after four weeks, but sued Siegmund and Otto Riegel. Did he just say the injury was so bad that you, the YouTube will block the video? That's why he can't show it? Lienen's thigh, and I can't show you the leg photos. Otherwise, YouTube would block the video. Is that bad? 
The player recovered from the injury after four weeks but sued Siegmund and Otto Regal, the coach of Werder Bremen at the time. According to Lienen's accusation, the player had encouraged his teammates to commit the foul. The lawsuit failed, but the incident didn't go unnoticed. In the return match, the coach even sat on the bench wearing a bulletproof vest. There were death threats against him. Number 6. Martin Ooh. Taylor also received a death threat after his foul on Eduardo. We're back in the Premier League, Birmingham City against Arsenal. Martin Taylor's incredibly brutal foul against Eduardo of Arsenal resulted in a broken tibia and fibula. The incident was so shocking that even on TV, replays weren't shown. Wow. Taylor was suspended for three matches. Eduardo returned to the field after a long injury hiatus, but was never the same. Wow, number that's five. sad, man. Our number five occurred that's two sad. years later, again in a Premier League match. Stoke City's Ryan Shawcross entered the duel, made the first contact, and broke Aaron Ramsey's leg. Shawcross received a red card and was suspended for three matches. Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger and the rest of the team were furious. 19-year-old Ramsey was making a name for himself in 19? the football world and many feared his career was already over. Fortunately, he recovered from the terrible injury and continued to play. Now let's move on to a foul that gave That's the a player good story, a nickname. Man. The Butcher of Bilbao, number four. In the 1980s, Athletic Bilbao and Barcelona had the biggest Bilbao? rivalry in Spain. Bilbao became champions in 1983, Barcelona won the cup, and in their fourth round of the new season, the two teams were set to face each other. The skillful Catalans against the tough Basques. Two different football worlds. The score was already 2-0 for Barca when Maradona you, received you know, the ball. You know what, guys? You know, looking after all this, it's just like... I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like... Damn, I don't. I, what I'm trying to say, guys, is just like, you know, these injuries is just it's it's crazy, man. Like I, I would never see this in the NBA. I would never see this in the NFL. Never, maybe not see this in hockey either. These are really brutal. And when these injuries happen, oh my god, damn, bro. And and to hear that some people come back from the injury, but they're not the same, it's just so sad because you know you have a lot of supporters that's praying for you, hoping you get better, and you come out to the same. You become the same player that you once was before you had the injury. And when you come back and you're not the same, it's just like, wow, man, that injury really changed his career. He's not that player he once was. And it's just, it's sad, man. I feel like some of these guys should get maybe a little bit penalized more because these injuries is brutal. And they only get some of them yellow cards or only three matches a game. They need to be, like, suspended for, like, probably double, maybe triple that. Midfield. Ooh. From Look how we landed. Bro, he's literally skiing on the grass. Goikochia brutally lunged from behind and broke the 25-year-old Maradona's ankles. Maradona had to stay out of the game for several months, and Gaia Chiquilla received an 18-match suspension. I said triple A. If you need 18 matches, then that, yeah. We've reached the top three, and we're back in the Premier League. Number three. In 2006, Manchester City played against Portsmouth. After a corner kick, Portsmouth player Mendez rushed to clear the ball. Nope. Ben Thatcher hit him in the face with an elbow for no reason. Mendez lost consciousness and had to be Thatcher hit. Dude, what an elbow? Ben Thatcher hit him. He had to lost some teeth on that. Ain't no way, bro. In the face with an elbow for no reason. Mendez lost consciousness and had to be treated on the field and then taken to the hospital. Oh! Oh my! No, he, bro, he punched him. No, he know what he was doing. Come on now. This dude literally punched him. He punched the dude. Yellow card. What does one have to do to get a red card in England? Later, he was suspended by the Football Association for eight matches and fined by his own club being docked six weeks wages as a punishment. Hey, it's not fair to hit others when you're angry, but it's yeah, perfectly facts. fine to hit the subscribe button with force. Now, let's move on to a classic moment in football. Last two. Number two, France versus Germany. Okay. In 1982, the two teams met in the World Cup semifinals, and the encounter was ruthless. Suddenly, a good opportunity for France. Goalkeeper Schumacher lunged at Battiston and knocked him out with a powerful blow. 
player lost several teeth and suffered a spinal injury. One of the worst fouls ever. Oh. Spinal injuries, guys, is a very tricky injury. And the reason is you can become paralyzed. If you have a spinal injury, you can become paralyzed. There was this dude in American football, right? I forgot his name. But I think he had injured his neck or something like that. And he became paralyzed from the waist below. And he was never able to walk again. And he was never able to return to the football field. It was a sad story. I forgot his name. But spinal injuries is tricky, man. They could paralyze you. And it's just those type of injuries. Is, those are serious, man. I think they could be life-threatening, too, honestly. Tucker had no chance of touching the ball, and it seemed like he just wanted to knock out the French player. But here's the absurd part. He didn't receive any card, not even a yellow one. <sighs> out the French player. But here's the absurd part. He didn't receive any card, not even a yellow one. You don't even get a yellow card for that? They pay the rest. They pay. This is unbelievable. Where's the sportsmanship at? Where's the sportsmanship? Where's the calls? Where's the Where's all this at? And you get away with that. So if the man had lost his life, you need to tell me you would get away with that? Off this game? What more do you have to do to get a card? Like what this dude said. What more do you have to do? Because what you're doing already is brutal. Man, bro. Germany won the semifinal, but then lost to Italy in the final. Our number one, perhaps the most brutal foul ever, happened in England. Are we really surprised? Number one, September 1997. Manchester United was playing against Leeds. Roy Keane and Alf Inge Holland, or rather Erling Holland's father, clashed several times during the match. Five minutes before the end, Keane wanted to trip Holland, but in the process, he injured himself. Holland leaned over him and shouted to stop faking an injury, but Keane wasn't faking. He'd torn his cruciate ligament and had to be out injured for a long time. Damn. Three and a half years later, the two faced each other again. Holland was playing for Manchester City, the eternal rival of Manchester United. Keane wanted only one thing, to have revenge on Holland. Ooh, payback. A card and a three-match suspension, plus a fine of five thousand pounds. Nah, that's a revenge. Year and a half later, that's revenge. He wrote in his autobiography that he wanted to hurt Holland with that foul, and the English league handed him another five-match suspension and a fine of one hundred fifty thousand pounds. Damn. Wait, did you know that due to a brutal foul, Ronaldo died on the field for a minute? Watch Ronaldo died. Oh, we have to check that out, man. Wow. You know, looking at these, these are brutal, man. These are brutal. Brutal. And man, I see why these soccer players get paid a lot of money, man. Seems like a lot of leg injuries. And it's just life-threatening injuries, too. You're, you're putting your body on the line on the field, man. Anything happens. But yeah, um, hope you guys reached the end of this video. If you didn't, thank you guys so much. And with that being said, it's your boy Flamo. Love you guys so much. Tune in to the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.